Hey, what's up everyone? Dana Line and back with another CSR2 video. So we're gonna race this this season's prestige cup with the brand new or the old school or whatever it is. I really messed the beginning of this up. Let me start over. What's up everyone? Dana Line and back with another video. Today we are gonna race the prestige cup with the Z06 Corvette convertible thingy dingy. So we're gonna show you the final sprint races, the final speed traps, the final times. That way you know if your car is gonna be fast enough. So yeah. Let's go do it to it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you guys so much for watching. All right, so now we are at the very first 0 to 100 race, so let's go ahead and show you that. 3, 2, 1, go. 2, 3, 4, 5, nitrous, something like that. But bam there we go. I do have a video on how to drive this car if you're interested in looking that up. That is available, so just type in Danny Lightning 2023 Corvette Z06 Convertible on YouTube and that video should pop right up. So that was a sprint race of 4.484. So the car you might, the car you get might run a little faster or slower, but 4.4 ish is what you're gonna have to run for that first zero to 100 sprint. All right, so around race number 10, we are going to have a speed trap of 199 miles per hour. So your car has to go faster than 199 in order to beat this race right here. And this car is really a pain in the butt to shift. Mine's not quite maxed out, but it's pretty close. I think I'm missing two stage six parts on this car and I have all the rest installed. So race number 10, you had to beat 199 miles per hour. All right, 15,000 crew respect points. Thank you, Jess. All right, so now we have another zero to 100 sprint race. So let's find out how fast you gotta run for this one. I think this is what race number 12 or something like that we'll find out in just a second but i think that was race 12 don't quote me on it oh that was race number 13. so he ran a 3.066 so for the second one of those 0 to 100 races you got to run 3.066 faster on the 0 to 100 time so let's go over move on to the next thingy dingy all right next we have a speed trap of 232 miles per hour so let's see if we can make it three two one go so this car is going to need to cross the finish line faster than 232 miles per hour and we hit over 300 so not too bad you're probably going to need a good two or three stage six parts on your car and that was race number 16 i do believe race number 16 is a speed trap of 232 miles per hour all right, now we are on race number 19, which is a 0 to 100 race. So let's find out how fast we have to do 0 to 100 for race number 19. All right, there we go. But bam, we got it. We got it. And that was a 2.3-ish, right? Somewhere around 2.3, maybe 2.4, maybe 2.2 is how fast you got to do that 0 to 100 for race number 19. All right, so race number 22, we are going to have another one of these thingy dingies right here. And how many times have I said thingy dingies during this video? Probably way too many. But this is a speed trap of 251 miles per hour. So three, two, one, go. Let's see if we can do it. And I really don't like the way this car drives. You're I think you're supposed to shift into fifth as quickly as possible. And it's hard to get this car to shift that quickly. All right, so we did 321. So yeah, 251 miles per hour is the speed trap for race number 22. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and do out the last five races. I got out my headphones so I can actually hear myself. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, fourth, nitrous. I wish audio interfaces had Bluetooth. That would be nice if I could just hook a Bluetooth set of headphones up to my audio interface and not have to worry about the wires. There might be some way to do that, but you're probably going to get some latency and stuff. So Bluetooth may not be actually, you know what? I would love to get a set of actual wireless headphones, not Bluetooth, but 2.4 gigahertz wireless. The original wireless sounded so much better than uh, Bluetooth. Bluetooth is getting better and better and better. But, you know, Bluetooth will never give you as good of sound quality as wired. At least not right now. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, fourth, fourth, blah, 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 yeah. But uh, one day, maybe Bluetooth will get to the point where it's not lossy anymore. And it's like full high res. I mean, it's definitely getting to that point. But I think it's still not perfect. Either way, I'm babbling on about Bluetooth for some reason. But yeah, wired or actual wireless always sounds better than Bluetooth. But, you know. That is what that is. 
maybe someday I should look up and see if I can find, because wireless also doesn't have any latency. Like, true wireless, no latency. But, uh, you know, Bluetooth usually always has a little bit. They're still getting better about the latency, though. Bam! Second, third, fourth, nitrous. But yeah, wired sounds better. No matter what you do, wired almost always sounds better. All right, there we go. So if you want to get yourself a nice Danny Lightning coffee cup, you can drop down video description or even under the video, it might show you the Danny Lightning merch store where you can get t-shirts, flip-flops, coffee cups, things, stuff, and other junk. All right, here comes race number 28. You also find some ways to help support my channel and all kinds of good stuff down there in the video's description. So three, two, one, go. Second, third, fourth, Nitrous. And I do appreciate all you guys who are channel members. Thank you guys so much for the extra support. It is extremely helpful to me and the channel and all that good stuff. And to everybody who watches my videos, I just want to say thank you guys. I really do appreciate it. All right, so here comes race number, that was what, 28? And that's the one that's going to give us the stage six part. So that guy ran about a 9.6. So if you can run around a 9.6, maybe 9.5, 9.7, give or take a tenth of a second, you'll get that stage six part for your car. All right, here comes race number 20, 20, 29, 29, 29, 20, 20, 20, 29, 29, 29, 20, 20, 29, 29, 29. All right, I'll shut up. Three, two, one. <laughs> go second third fourth and fifth night i hate this car i really hate this car it's a great car actually it does have a really good live racing setup especially if you get a couple stage six parts on it i think i should probably remake the video on the live racing setup for this car because i don't think i put stage six i don't think i did the stage six setup for it which is actually much better so i do have a video on how to drive the car but i actually might remake the live racing part all right here comes race number 30 guys this is the last race this will show you the final time you have to beat all right so we're up against some sort of mclaren over there can't quite tell which one but i can definitely see that as some sort of mclaren and i do not like the way this car drives whatsoever but that doesn't mean it's not a good car all right, so I win. Nice. We destroyed him. He ran a 8.0, 8.8. So you're going to have to run somewhere around an 8.8, .8, maybe an 8.7, maybe an 8.9. But somewhere in that ballpark, give or take a tenth of a second, is probably where you're going to end up. So Claire, I kicked your buttocks in your purple star McLaren thingy dingy right there. And I said thingy dingy yet again. And then I said it another time. Gosh, Danny Lightning. Too many thingy dingies. But yeah, somewhere around an 8.8 .8 is what you're going to have to do to beat this thing. So yeah, 8.8, .8, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Was pretty easy with the amount of stage 6 parts I have. And it looks like it did not give me a stage 6 part that I can use. So it gave me a crappy duplicate stage 6 part for my car. I hate when it does that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you drop down the video's description, you'll see all that stuff I mentioned a minute ago. And maybe some other things and some game news and some links to some junk. And yeah, have a great day. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Lightning out. Catch you later. See ya.